Hello, welcome to the HR Diary. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a salary structure with Excel. So, what is a salary structure? Salary structures provide a framework for paying employees. In a salary structure, the job levels are on the X axis and the salary is on the Y axis. Each of the job level has a salary range. So this is the salary range for job level 10. This is the salary range for job level 9. And this is the job level, no, sorry. This is the salary range for job level 8. The salary range is the pay for the job. The employees pay within this range depends on their experience and their performance. The midpoint is the center value in the salary range. The midpoint is also your pay strategy. The midpoint is usually derived from the market data. So here the midpoint for job level 10 is 7,370. The minimum here, 5,122 for job level 10. The minimum is the lowest amount in the salary range for the job level. Some companies set the minimum at 80% from the midpoint. The maximum is the highest amount within a salary range. So for job level 10, the maximum is 9,512. Some companies set the maximum at 120% from the midpoint some set it at 130% from the midpoint. So, how can we create a salary structure like this with Excel? Let's dive in and create it. Here, I have some data. And I want to create a salary structure using this data. One thing to note for your data is that the maximum here needs to be at the top row. The maximum or what I call the highest salary value, the highest value needs to be at the top row. So to start to create a salary structure, let's select the data. Select the data including the headers. Then Go to the insert menu and look for recommended charts. Click on it. So the recommended chart is a cluster column. Click on the OK. So here you have your chart. Next, click on one of the bars. You have all the bars here. Any bar, just click on it. And then go to the format menu. Click on this format selection. And then you will see, you will see the format data series appear on the right banner. Go to the series overlap. And you will, at the, at the series option, and you will see the series overlap. So you notice when I shift this, it changes. When I move more to the right, it starts to overlap. All right. When I move to all the extreme end, it becomes one bar. So when I move here, the bar split out again. All right. So when I move to 100%, you will notice that it starts to overlap. And when it hits 100%, all the three bars overlap into one bar. You can also adjust the width of the bars by adjusting the gap width. So if I move it here, you see the gap narrows and here they touch each other. Like when I move to the extreme one, it becomes very thin. So let me move it to around here. Okay, so I want the gap to be around this, around this size. So next, to build a salary structure like this, 
we need to remove the bottom bars here. All right, this bottom bars. So to do that, click on any of the bottom bars. For example, let me click on this. Make sure that all is selected. All right. Again, click on all of the bottom bars and then go to this right panel, go to the fill. Click onto solid fill. And for the color, I will select white to match the background color. So after you select white, you see that all the lowest bar disappeared. So they disappeared because this, this bar matches the background white. You will also notice that the grid line here doesn't look good. So I want to remove it. So to remove this grid line, click on the to the chart and you will see the plus sign. Click onto it and untick the grid lines. So the grid line is gone. So notice that there is a line missing here. So if you want a solid line for the y-axis, click onto here, All right? Click onto the numbers. Then on the right panel, look for the axis options. Look for fill. Click onto the line. All right? and take solid line. And you see the solid line appears here, right? So this solid line, you can increase the thickness or you can decrease it. So I want to set it at one. So when you click anywhere on the diagram, you can see your line here, right? And the line, you can change the color. I can change it to this color, the gray. Or you can change it to yellow. All right? But I prefer this color. Let's make this bigger so you can see. Next, you can change the color of your top bars. So if I want to change it red, click onto it, all right? Click onto it. And then go to fill, click onto solid fill and change it to red. All right? But nah, I don't want it red. I want it to be blue. Same, blue, all right? So I got it, blue. Next, I want to change the color for my middle bars here to green. So to do that, click on any of the middle bars, go to the fill, go to solid fill, and go to color and pick the color you want. So I shall pick the green. So you can also change the background by clicking on onto it, okay? Then select another color. So for example, I want to pick uh, gold, right? So you notice that the bottom bars are now visible. So to make this bottom bar disappear, click on these bottom bars and change the color to the same as the background color. So this background was gold color. So I, I click on this and let's change it to gold. So it disappears, All right? So next, I want to add data labels to all the bars. So to add a data label for the top bar, right click, on the top bar and then click on to add data labels. 
So to add data label for the middle bar, same thing. Click onto it. The middle bar, right, right click on it and left click on the data labels. So to add data label for the bottom bar, right click at any of the bottom bars and click on add data labels. So you notice that sometimes the number overlap. So you can move, you can change the label position by clicking onto it. So let's click onto it. All right. Then go to your this um, right panel. Click onto this uh, label options. And then look for label positions and scroll down. So under label options, there is this label position. And I can try, you see center here, it, look, it moves here, not that good. Inside end, yeah, it looks fine. Inside end, inside base, yeah, it doesn't look good. Um, so uh, I want it to be, uh, so you can, you want to shift it again, click onto it. The labels go to here, scroll down, and I want it at inside end. Yeah, this this looks good. Let's leave it here. Next, you'll notice that there are still some numbers overlapping. So you can move the individual labels by clicking onto it. So I make sure that I select just that label and move it down. Same for this. This this and this and this and this okay i can drag to increase the the height i can also increase it here next I want to add axis titles. So to, to add the axis titles, click onto the chart and click onto the plus sign and click check the axis titles. So I want to next um, click onto this horizontal axis title and I want to rename it by typing in job level. And here, let me shift this a little bit here. So there's some space. Um, and I want to rename this to salary. This legend here is, uh, I don't find it necessary. So to remove this, you can go to this plus sign and untick the legend. All right. This is a little out of place. Let's move it here. Okay, next, you may find that your y-axis number here, the salary area, is a little cluttered. So, and the scale moves by 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. We can, we can scale in terms of 2,000. To do that, click on it. Click on it, and you'll see this appears. Look for the first you go to axis options all right then under the axis options you can see the units so the major units 1000 it means that it goes by intervals of 1000 so i want to change it to 2000 so when i click outside you notice that the y axis changes to intervals of to thousand, all right. Here you go. This is your salary structure. So it looks like this, all right. This is your salary structure. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching Excel Tricks by the HR Diary. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel.